think that the person who killed the wonderful Mazu who plays with me is in this room! Impossible! Impossible! That's... Oh, I can't do anything! How annoying! Everyone do your best! Don't lose to yourselves! Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means... the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Then... Does that mean the killer came back? Hmm... I wonder... At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. Coming together! Do you think the killer might have been hiding? You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. No, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hyoko. Oh, what are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good!
The killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long. So the closet shouldn't have been that messy. I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like... Anyway, the killer hit silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house. Say whatever you want, even if you didn't ask. All right. If you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! <laughs> oh, you shut up! Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Is the killer also included? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. Jeez, you're pretty annoying for noticing something like that. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. You're the one who went on a tangent. Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer, too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we?
What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Uh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushes their shit, it would definitely clog the toilet! Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved... Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with... Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved up. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the blood? They cut it up and... Oops. As someone who flushes, it would definitely clog... Maybe it's the other... Perhaps someone other... But maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to. Oh, what if maybe they wore one? If they used something, what did they do with the blood? They cut it up and... As someone who flushed, it would definitely... Maybe it's the other way over. Perhaps someone other... Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood on their- Maybe they simply- They couldn't use the shower, so washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use- oh, What about the wet- Maybe they wore one when they- Did they use something other than the shower? Damn it! What did the killer do- Maybe they simply- They couldn't use the shower, so washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to- oh, What about the wet- Maybe they wore one when they- If they used something- What did they do with the blood? They cut it up and- Ugh. As someone who flushes their shit, they would definitely- Maybe it's the other- Perhaps someone other- Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood? Maybe they simply- They couldn't use the shower, so washing it off would have been- They didn't have to- oh, What about the- Maybe they wore one when they- If they used something other than the shower- what did they do with the blood? They cut it up and... As someone who flushed, it would definitely clog... Maybe it's the other... Perhaps someone other... Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do? Maybe they simply... They couldn't use the ship, so washing it off would have been... A no, that's wrong! They just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? Damn it! I see! Drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. But what? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try think one bottle drink wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. It's true there were drinks in the beach house with however, try pick one bottle it wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. 
<laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Allow me to cut through those words! Oh, there were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? That was after the incident, right? And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Ah, oh, you're right. Did you well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Did you burn? You should have said so sooner. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of the shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. It seems you've realized who the killer is. See? Just as I thought. H hold on. You... You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? the only one! Pekko, is it you? Hey, what are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer! Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. The killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles. They'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent! Hold on, you bastard! You saw her at the diner! You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming! No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? I, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? You told me you didn't see anyone. <laughs> Not so fast! We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house! Now that you mention it, you're right! The roadside door was blocked! And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? Who cares about that? Answer me! You might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? If Echo is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. I see! If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is... Well... Nothing really, except that small window in the shower room. Huh. Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. But, but, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside! Of course not! That would violate the school trip rule! Littering is prohibited! Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules! You see? 
There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No, they just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us! We just said they couldn't use an object. You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. I see. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! No! that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, you had it then, too. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Heko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Wow! Just like a Japanese ninja! Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Peko could easily use it to climb. Well, Peko, do you have anything to say? She used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! Hey, Yuhiko, why do you even care? Shut up! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Impossible! You're pissing me off! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard? Shut up! Shut up! Shut bastard! 
Don't fuck with me! You're pissing me off! Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! Bastard! Got proof, you bastard? I'll sell your fucking organs! You're pissing me off! Don't fuck with me! You're pissing me off! Bastard! Shut, shut up! Shut up! Got proof, you bastard? I'll sell your fucking organs! That's obviously impossible! You're pissing me off! Shut, shut up! Shut up! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been. This is the end! If she used her bamboo sword as a step stool, she could have recovered it with her sword back. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. No, oh, You just back off! Uh, um, is it true? Uh, hold on! You're just making assumptions! You, you don't have any proof! Got it, you bastard! It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Agreed. Okay. Hurry up and go. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Can it wait until after the voting? This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Peko's motive. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then... Why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question, I must say... It was for the sake of justice. Justice? In order to... Protect the justice of this world. I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. You... What? Justice is what makes humans human. Justice is the eternal sun and the enduring moon. Uh, hello! Earth to Pekko! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze. I will not allow that. It, it's fine. Just stop it. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. I'm telling you to stop it! So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. This is... could she be? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice. That would be me. Sparkling justice! Now then, let's execute justice! What the fuck? Pego, what are you doing? I am sparkling justice. In the name of sparkling, shining justice, I have come to deliver justice. What's going on? <laughs> Pekko finally snapped! Everyone, please be careful! 
Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice. Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. She is supposed to be... but... an ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask! This mask is the dividing line, just like various items. The sun is revealed because it lies just beyond your face. Justice should also be the same. I, I don't get it, but, but this is becoming really crazy! This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events! Hey! Take a look! It's a killer! This again? Huh? So what's your answer to my previous question? This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying Mahiru is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then, the reason you killed Mahiru was... To protect justice, of course. In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword and executed justice. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> Peko, is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice! <laughs> oh, I can't stand this anymore! Let's go over this incident one more time and then...
that happened in this case. The incident began this morning. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome murder case. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Kyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet so they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she'd been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on him. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, but the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they... After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mahiru, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Hyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily. The bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag and used the sword as a step stool to... As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Peko Peko Yama?
I see. And what of it? She's like, totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. But what are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice. That's no reason to condemn me. Whatever. Let's hurry up and vote. There's no way you can kill me. Justice can never be killed. What are you saying? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on in order to keep justice, to keep me alive. You all must give up your lives. Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice. If I fall here, who will combat the evils of this world? Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all and save my life to protect justice. Hurry and carry on justice. Give me a break. If we let Pecco go, we're all gonna get killed. For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. <laughs> Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't stand her anymore. Um, however, before we do that... Monokuma on the boat! I'm awake! Ah, he finally woke up! I heard your story! Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and who will be chosen as the blackened? <laughs> Our discussion? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Strange? What do you mean? That is true. However... As a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Petko is really sparkling justice. Am I right? Huh? Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes her an enthusiast! Honestly, it felt strange to me, too. I mean, there's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Pekka, right? Uh, distinct difference? You know, Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! That would be me! Sparkling justice! written in their native language. If she had it translated, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Huh? Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... From Spain? What?! Pekko, you're not sparkling justice. Or, you insist that you're sparkling justice. Can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Would you be able to do that? It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. And even if you find out now, 
It's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. Uh-huh? Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose too late? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Be clearer! I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool? She called herself a tool. <laughs> of course. I see. I finally understand. What do you mean? I mean, besides Pekko and Hyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. Someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? <laughs> that announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekka, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house. Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No. That's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? You're the only one! I see. Now I finally see the connection. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? I can prove it with this! I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but... There's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos, with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because whoever beat the game first received the ending prize. It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, You'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Cause... Pekko is the killer, right? But... You already told it! That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I had no motive for killing Maki. I was simply used as a tool. Hey! What's going on? I'm not the killer. The true killer, who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi, was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No. 
I have no aim. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Young master? That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now, but it's too late. That's a problem. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? That's nuts! How would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. My young master is attacked. I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move. That is... Thing. Huh? <laughs> you fiend? No. I am nothing but a tool. with me you so but um um Oh my my! Hey! 
Why you? But... Why? Shut the hell up! What are you saying? Master, I am finished. What? <laughs> eh? Of course. <sighs> Be quiet. Yes, indeed. <laughs> It cannot be. <laughs> That's obviously wrong. No. This is troubling. <laughs> I see. Great! Wrong. <laughs> now then. Huh? Hey. Young master, I am finished. You? What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen after you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Yeah. <sighs> hey, Pekka. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am my young master's tool. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. God damn it, we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying?! Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Then... why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You... you idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go, after you leave. 
I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? You better escape! Sorry. The master! I'm a disgrace. Echo. Young master! Uh oh! Too bad! Why you? Hey! Jeez! <laughs> what? Even so. Peko. I am terribly sorry. Goodbye. <sighs> and please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. I will never feel despair. So cool! <laughs> Young master for you, Hiko. So? I want you to remember. <laughs> Chills, kills. Why? Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. I. I never needed a tool. So you didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got. You just. You just needed to be yourself. I, I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Young master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids. Let's go! Please, Echo. Don't go. I need you. Don't leave me! Young master? Young master!
that right? Listen carefully.